All right. So what's good, fight fans? All right. So man, who do we have here? Malik Hawkins versus Sabriel Matias. Man, I felt sorry for, uh, you know, <laughs> Malik Hawkins. My goodness. I mean, look, Malik Hawkins. OK, look, he looks almost complete. OK, the guy has good hands. Um, He got good rhythm, you know, on the way he throws punches. Pretty good head movement. However, he's just missing the pop. He has no power behind those punches. OK, and like the first time I seen him, I said to myself, if they don't get that problem fixed, OK, his career in boxing will not be long. All right. Now, I understand some people may say, well, that's a bunch of bull crap. You have Paula Malinaji who didn't have that that much pop and his career had prolonged for a pretty long time and yeah malik scott i mean not malik scott <laughs> malik hawkins do you know he does have more knockouts than apollo malinaji i think he finished his career with like what five or six knockouts to his uh name and um malik hawkins he has like 11 so far but still no uh-uh man listen the guys he faced, I mean, they were there to lose, okay? I mean, <laughs> now he's, he's you know, moving up in competition. I mean, we've seen what happened between him and uh, Sabriel Matias, okay? He could not keep Matias back for nothing. He even low-blowed uh, Matias. Matias didn't even feel it. He just said, hey, uh, he just tapped. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let the ref know that, that this guy's low-blowing. But he didn't even feel it, all right? Not really. I mean, you know, when you get hit with a low blow, you, ah, I mean, you see the boxers crying almost, you know what I'm saying? Please. I mean, Malik Hawkins hit him with like two or three low blows and Sabrina Mati is just, yo, man, he's still tapping me. I'm, I'm looking at, you know, Mati is, I'm like, man, he's not tapping you, bro. It feels like he is, but he's actually punching you below the belt. All right. But yeah, that problem he has to get, he has to get that fixed in Malik. Uh, Hawkins okay I mean the guy has no pop you know behind his punches you know being in there with a dangerous fighter like Sabril uh, Matias you know look the ring doctors and everything they was worried about this guy you know what I mean uh, I'm talking about Malik Hawkins what they did they used the eye for an excuse to stop the fight now you know like I know that eye was nowhere that bad for that fight to be stopped they use that as an excuse because they actually thought that, you know, hey, um, Malik uh, Hawkins might be Sabrell uh, Matias' second victim, okay, of a ring death because he was he was taking a, I mean, a beating, okay. Now moving on, you know, y'all know who I am. I like matchmaking, okay. Um, I would like to see so that you know, uh, Teofimo Lopez is moving up. Okay, and and wait, that wouldn't you know be, wouldn't be a bad fight between Teofimo and Sabria Matias. You know what do you think? And I think that'd be a good fight. Although I believe Teofimo will beat the living snots out of uh Matias. You know, but still it'd be a great fight. You know, I understand that we all want to see the rematch between Lomachenko and everything, but not really because look. Vasil Lomachenko, he was uh he had to do surgery after his previous fight. He goes into this fight uh, with the uh, with the same injury, uh, uh, shoulder surgery. He had so uh, shoulder surgery, you know, after his previous fight, like I said before, and then he has it again. So to me, look, I believe that you know my man is Vasil Lomachenko. You know, he's getting getting you know worn out. I mean, he's had a lot of fights in his amateur career. I mean, he's one of my my favorite boxers, yo. Tio Fimo Lopez, I got a lot of respect for him as well. All right. Hell, you know, I, I used to like Floyd Mayweather. OK, so if you like Floyd, you know, hey, you could like, you know, Vasil Lomachenko. And that's how I feel. I like boxers. OK, but I, I really do believe that, you know, I mean, he, he's beginning to wear and tear. OK, I mean, he has a lot of mileage on him. But, you know, going on, you know, moving from that subject to Teofimo and Matias, since Teofimo wants to move up, there's a lot of great fights up there for him at 140 pounds. OK, who knows? He might end up getting a fight with uh, Basile. I mean, uh, you know, uh, Felix Verdejo. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's up there. You know, hey, let him go ahead and move up. I mean, look, there's a bright future for Teofimo at, you know, um, 
junior welterweight or now super lightweight. You know, they keep changing the names. Ugh. And plus the WBC come out with a new division. Oh, my goodness. So, anyways, man, that's going to be my take on this. This is CMD Boxing Reports. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.